Right guys, and welcome to the Hobby Room channel. For those of you who work in the hobby business or, you know, like I said, I'm just starting out. I'm trying to make uh, basically a living out of my hobby, uh, but I've come to find that there's really not much more exciting than three o'clock when the postman comes because we get boxes and packages and that's uh, always fun stuff. So I figured I'd do show you what a day's post looks like. Um, this was all on my doorstep when I came home and I guess we'll start with the biggest because that is likely a car. So let's see what we got in the box. It's always a good time, you know, and it, uh, you never know which of your projects these parts are showing up for because obviously there's multiples going on at a time. Sorry, you guys are kind of getting the raw end of the deal. Aha, this is a good one. This is from my buddy Dean and I will show you in the box is uh, a car, a Mercedes Benz car. And I absolutely know what this is because we've talked about it and I knew that this was coming. Um, actually, since I ordered this stuff, I knew all of it was coming. I just don't know what's in the packages because some stuff comes out of China and takes months and some stuff is immediately. And we have a TAO2. Wow, this thing is original. Three-step speed controller. It looks like it has some sort of a a modified or hopped up motor. Uh, the tires are rock hard, which I guess you would expect of a car that's been sitting for what appears to be many, many years. But here, take a look, guys. That is a TAO2. Now, like I said, actually the bottom looks pretty clean. It doesn't look like it's been run hard at all. So there we go, we got our three-step speed controller. Um, Tires are rock hard. Body is, I guess we'll call it good enough because I already know what I wanna do with this car. I'm going to, um, and it's not gonna happen anytime soon. It'll probably be a good month before you guys see this car. There's several others in line in front of it, but I will go ahead and blast this whole thing apart, clean the dickens out of it, rebuild the shocks because I suspect Actually, they feel pretty decent, but we'll go ahead and rebuild the shocks anyway. We'll likely take the three-step speed control out in favor of something contemporary, but we'll certainly bag this and set it aside so the car can be returned to original. So this will be a runner. So awesome. Thanks, Dean. There's one more project on the list. So let's see what else we got. Model engine collector sent me something. Now, this, these are oftentimes gaskets. So I try to be super careful when I open the package because it really sucks when you destroy the thing you ordered because you got into a big hurry opening the envelope. That is a silly thing to have happen. So I'm opening this, I'm seeing catalog type flyer thing there I've got nothing else in the package so I can only assume that in here I hope I hope yep is going to be a gasket okay so here's what we've got we've got their catalog and this is uh wow they've actually got everything from max stuff to outboard engines and all sorts of cool uh cool stuff. This almost reminds me of the old magazine articles. And if we break our staple loose, <clears throat> we have, and I'm always careful of staples because I have dogs and dogs and staples don't go well because staples end up in dog paws and then you have unhappy dogs. So I'm always a bit neurotic when it comes to destapling my items. Um, so what we've got is, uh, you guys saw that 1940 uh, Carl Goldberg uh, airplane. Well, I went ahead and did uh, a rebuild on the engine, but I didn't feel like cutting the gaskets. So this is a rear 
rear cover plate gasket set for that. Like I said, usually I do this uh, myself and I'll probably go ahead and drop these onto my printer bed and copy so that in the future I can make my own. But for the couple bucks to have this show up, um, that's not that's not a make or break deal. So I'm actually gonna, in the interest of making a pile, let's see here. Yeah, we'll put the car there. You can kind of see that. We got the gaskets, we'll put that there. What's next? Next bag, next bag, next bag. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Open carefully. I tend to like to get right on the top line. Aha! I know what's going on here. Also, regarding that 1940 Carl Goldberg, is a Spectrum receiver. Um, this is the AR410. It is a super duper simple, easy receiver. It's tiny. Um, in fact, I'll even I'll even go so far as to pop it out of the package. Maybe if the package will. Yep, there we are. There's our receiver. It's the size of. It's half the size of my thumb. It's got a bind button right on the top, which makes life super easy. And when you're doing these old timer airplanes, you don't need anything more than four channels. And in fact, you really don't. We fly them three channel, which is a elevator, rudder, and throttle. Um, but technically, you don't even need the third channel. You can just set the engine to run at an appropriate rate and uh, leave it just at that. So, so far the postman has brought us a car, a spectrum receiver, and a set of gaskets. Let's see what else we have here. So at least two of these items are for the same project, which again, you guys aren't gonna see for quite some time. Ah, okay, I see what's going on here. This is gonna be one of those unopenable packages. And this is kind of cool because I've really never seen a package like this. We've got a set of front tires. And what's neat about them is these are obnoxiously expensive front tires for a Grasshopper 2. Um, and I'd like to emphasize the obnoxiously expensive. They're extremely narrow. Um, these are a set of originals. I'll show you if you give me one second. I have already ordered up and received the rears. So this completes the set of tires for the Grasshopper 2. Now what we're waiting on here, I'll set that there. So we can still see the tires, the gaskets, the receiver, and the car. Um, but what's going to happen is that Grasshopper 2 is going to get a set of alloy wheels. Now, when you order these alloy wheels, they come out of China, and they give you a shipping date between May 25th and July whatever. So it's kind of a whenever the box, you know, comes off the crate is when you get it. Uh, there's no guarantee on ship time. So once again, the car sitting there in the cellophane hasn't even been opened. Um, here's the tires for it and the wheels are on a slow boat from China. So now we have our final box here. Now mind you guys, this is one day. This, this happens multiple times a week where these parts lots just come in and um, Fortunately, we're selling stuff along the way, selling off finished projects, and that's what allows us, and by us I mean me, to continue to order new stuff. Anybody need any uh, discount coupons? It looks like we have lots of those. Ha! All right. I know what we've got here. We have got two items in here. And this should all just be packing material. Yes, packing material, garbage, rubbish. All right, so what do we have here? What we have here is items from what they call broken kits, which is when guys take uh, ready to run cars and pull the pieces out and sell them off for parts. So what we have here is a radio. This is the... Uh, SLT3 Spectrum Radio. 
Uh, and I'll go ahead and open this to show you as soon as I find out how the hell to get into it. There's our accompanying receiver. So this is a radio and receiver set. I tend to like to buy them like this. Um, trying to keep the towels together so it looks somewhat, you know, like it makes sense. Uh, how about this? If I put this here, is that visible? Yes. And we'll put the receiver right in front of it. So there's one transmitter and receiver set. And here goes another transmitter and receiver set. I bang on and I say it a million times. I love my Futaba radio with my multi-model memory. But at the same time, I like to have... Once again, there's our little receiver. And I love these push button binds. You know, uh, same thing as the one that's going in the airplane. Uh, it just makes life easy, but these come pre-bound. Uh, and again, the reason I buy my transmitters this way is if I have friends come over, we can all play. There's a transmitter for every car. So there it is. That's what the postman brought today. Two radios, three receivers, a car, some tires, and some gaskets. Uh, Another day in the life of the hobby room. Guys, thanks for tuning in and watching me babble on about almost nothing, but at least it gave you guys a little bit of insight of behind the scenes of how I get this stuff in and how I get it ready um, for projects. Because like I said, I'll take each of these and I'll assign them to a project. It'll go into a bin. And when it comes time, like here's a great example. This car might go with that transmitter and I might order up a bunch of other parts and put them all in a bin until I have absolutely everything, and then it becomes a project that you see on the show. So, guys, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day. Go run some RC. Go fly something. Go down to your uh, workshop and build something. Uh, but whatever you do, at all costs, have a great day. Thanks. Folks, I almost forgot the most important part of any YouTube video, and that is the begging. Guys, like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. If you guys have shirts, I'll buy them, send them to me, I'll give you my address for those of you who don't have them. Uh, but again, like, subscribe, hit the bell, keep me relevant, and I'll keep the content coming to you. Thanks again.